What's going on? This is Marcus with Subly Lane Printing. And in this video, basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you step by step on how you can sublimate these custom graduation stoves. All right. Um, it's graduation season and these are very, very popular doing graduation. All right. And also you can sell these year round too as well. All right, so um, I'm going to be taking you step by step, showing you exactly what you're going to be, do, be doing, what type of products and equipment that you're going to need in order to sublimate on these custom graduation stoves. All right, so guys, if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing you videos back to back, you know, showing you exactly how to sublimate on different products and stuff like that you know i actually been in the business for about eight years now so i do everything from vinyl to sublimation to dtf printing all right so guys stay tuned watch the full video and i highly suggest you know you can really literally learn how to sublimate step by step by just watching this video all right so watch this video as many as time as it takes for you to learn how to do it because once you master the skill then you can put a price on it all right stay tuned all right so first off what you're going to do is that you need a blank stall all right so this is a 60 inch stall and you can get them directly on amazon so first thing first what i'm doing is that you have to pre-press the stall all right and you pre-press the stall for about 10 seconds each press all right so you see what i'm doing i'm going all over the stall i want to make sure the stall is pre-pressed and flat all right And also what I'm using, I'm using a 15 by 15 small heat press. And then I have it actually set up. It's a, a board, you know, like a flat panel that you can get from either Home Depot or you can get from Lowe's. All right, so you see, I'm going all the way around the stall for about 10 to 15 seconds each press and i'm pre-pressing all of them all right now if you have a bigger heat press of course you can do this a little faster you know like i say i use a 15 by 15 heat press and it does the job it gets the job done all right and i got this also online on amazon All right, so now that I got the stall already pre-pressed, I want to grab my design. So this is my design here, in which I designed in Photoshop. And then also I print it with a sublimation printer. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm taking one side of the stall and I'm lining it up. All right. And you want to take your time with this. And I'm lining it up. Make sure the pictures are good. All the location that I have on the stall. Now I'm taking heat press tape. You can also get this from Amazon. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go around the edges of it. So that way, you know, the stall doesn't move, you know, once I press it. And guys, what you want to do, you want to take your time on this, all right? So you want to make sure that it's flattened and it's good, all right? <clears throat> and then all I'm doing is that I'm going around the stall, that one side of the stall, and I'm going to put tape all around the edges 
all right and then also this is the reason for the pre-press as well because that way the stall is good at good and flat while you're doing this all right so you see how i'm going all the way around the stall and then also i'm gonna put some on the bottom too guys this is very very important that you do this you do not skip this step and you do not rush this step this is very very important in the process now that i have that done so you see how i have it done you see how i have the tape all the way around so that that way when i go to press the stall it doesn't move because you don't want to you know have any ghosting or anything like that is very very important when you're doing these stalls all right now what i'm doing i'm taking scissors now i'm not cutting straight down the middle i'm kind of cutting and still where the edge is going to overlap you know the stall so i can get the full press on all right <laughs> All right, so now that it's done, so you see how I have it? All right, so I still have it, you know, where the design is actually not flushed all the way directly, but, you know, it's overlapping a little bit. Now what I'm doing is that I'm going to cut that top part, all right? Very, very important. Now, as you see how I cut it, and I have it a little the same way as the other one, you know, it's overlapping a little now what I'm doing now is that I'm lining it up, all right? So you see right there, you know, I have paper down there. You know, you can get this paper, you know, this is painter paper. You know, you can get this from Home Depot or Lowe's, all right? And then I'm gonna tape it down because it's, you know, I don't want the stall to move. The, the only thing that I'm gonna be moving is gonna be moving that paper that's on top of the board and I'm going to be moving the paper all right and then also whenever you press your stalls you do not want to do firm pressure you want to do very light pressure because it's sublimation too as well and you don't want to get any lines in your presses all right so you want to do very light press whenever you're doing sublimation I say light pressure. All right. So here, what I'm doing that, you know, you letting this go. All right. So I have the heat press set at 400 for one minute. All right. With light pressure is what I'm doing. And I'm going to, um, with this 15 by 15, heat press all right i'm gonna um do about three presses okay and then also you want to make sure whenever you're doing your second and third presses all right you want to actually do light pressure all right and you want to actually line it up sort of like in the middle of the heat press and press it so that way you know you can so it doesn't have you know that overlap you know so it shows that line or anything like that you know you want to make sure that you know the end of that first press is in the middle of the heat press all right So it's going for one minute light pressure, okay? And guys, while that's going, um, you know, too as well, you know, um, make sure, you, you know, if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be bringing a lot of videos. You know, I've been in the business for about seven years now. You know, I started off with vinyl, okay, and then I upgraded to sublimation, and now I'm doing DTF printing, all right? So I do all the printing, too, as well, vinyl, sublimation, 
and DTF printing. All right, so if you need any DTF transfers or anything like that, you know, just reach out to me. We can print you and you know you can press full color designs. All right. Okay, so I'm actually on this third press right here. Now, also what I like to do is that after I do this third press, I also go over, you know, the stall again for like another 30 seconds. So each one is going to be like 30 seconds. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little. so now that I went over that again for about 30 seconds each press what I'm doing now I'm actually go ahead and I'm peeling it off all right I'm taking all the tape off that I put around the edges in order to seal it all right all right so you see how that came out if you take a look at it look nice press no lines or anything like that because i applied that light pressure and also i went back over it to make sure all of the ink is on the stall all right so now what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut off this piece because i no longer need it anymore all right and then I'm going to line that up so that way I can go ahead and work on the other side. And all I'm going to do is going to take the other piece, that part that I cut off, and I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to go grab the stall and I'm going to get the other side of it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat that first procedure that I did. All right, so you see I'm actually lining it up, making sure that it's in position where I want it on the stall. All right, then I'm going to go and I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to place it all around the stall. You see? And I'm going to repeat that same, same thing, that same procedure, making sure that I got the tape lined up good. All right. It's very, very important. So if you make a mistake or you don't have the tape lined up properly, like you see what I have in that instance, you can take it off and you can do it again. All right. So that's how important this process is because you don't want to mess it up because if you mess it up, then you're going to have to do a whole nother stall. So you're going to have to print out the stall. All right. So not only you're going to have to have a longer time to actually complete the stall, but also you're going to be wasting material because you're going to have to use more ink. You're going to have to get another stall. A brand new stall and use it so it's very very important that you do this all right and you take your time all right that's exactly what I'm doing the same procedure like I did is I'm placing the tape as you see all around the stall the side of the stall all the way up to the top. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take it. I'm going to fold it over. So that way what I'm going to do, because I got to turn it around and I got to cut this end piece. This is very important because this what helps. <clears throat> so your design doesn't overlap. All right. But this is the part that's going to be on the back of the graduate's neck. All right. But you know, so you see how I have it. So that way, when I press, it actually is an even connection. So 
so it connects with the other side. All right. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking, I'm lining it up just like I did the first part. <laughs> and then I'm going to get me some tape. Guys, you can use, you know, like scotch tape. If you don't have scotch tape, you can use, uh, use the heat press tape. But, you know, it's kind of expensive. So, you know, I use scotch tape. <laughs> it's no biggie. And I'm going to do the same thing. 400 light pressure for one minute. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. All right. So go ahead and finish this here. This is my last press, and then I'm going to go ahead and reveal to you. All right. So now I'm taking the paper off. And guys, you got to be careful because it's hot. You know, you've seen that steam coming from it. All right. Now I'm pulling all the tape off. And there you have it, a finished stall. That's the front side. That's one side of it. See, no lines. And then that's the back side of it. All right. So, guys, if you got some out of this video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be bringing you more tutorials. So that you can step your game up. Let's go.